The teaching point for today again comes from um, an email I received from uh, one of our previous one-to-one -one clients. And it's also uh, something that I've been meaning to clarify for a while because I know that um, I've had several people ask about this. And also um, when doing the research, I've seen um, you know, some, some articles on it and all of that. And I wanted to just clarify something. So this is to do with the, the fact that it takes 60 to 90 seconds to change your chemical state from stress chemicals to feel good chemicals, um, to, to lower that, that level of stress chemicals. And um, the person who kind of, you know, brought it to the public um, in this way is, uh, her name is Jill Bolter Taylor, I believe. She has a TED talk in which she doesn't talk about this particular thing, but she talks about, you may have seen it already. She talks about, she's a neuroscientist who had a stroke. She had a stroke in the left hemisphere of her brain and she observed what was going on. And, and her TED talk is excellent. So if you want to look it up, uh, it's worth watching. It's very, very good. She refers to it as the 90 second rule the 90 second rule and what it is the science that it's based on is the fact that if you were to just take cells without the rest of the brain <laughs> so just some some cells without the person thinking about it thinking anything at all and those cells were to um to connect to, and a, a the stress chemicals were created from the trigger of that uh, exchange there's a peak and then a dissipation and that peak in stress chemicals and then the dissipation of it takes uh, less than 90 seconds okay so that's where that comes from and of course as we know connect, uh, thoughts are connections between neurons that trigger these chemicals so if you have a negative thought, you trigger those stress chemicals, it will take nine, uh, less than 90 seconds uh, from when the stress chemicals are triggered to when the stress chemicals go away, they dissipate, unless you re-trigger it. And that, of course, is what happens. So then it becomes a perpetuation. So what we do naturally is we we're triggered so we feel those stress chemicals in our system which causes us to think of what they're all about so oh I don't have the money or I'm worried about this or what about that and I, I'm so you know embarrassed about what I said yesterday and all of those thoughts and every single thought is restarting that clock of 90 seconds because it's triggering a new peak and dissipation so that's why uh, the negative emotions can last so much longer than 90 seconds, not because it takes longer, but simply because a new uh, event is being in, in your you know, biology is being triggered, you know, over and over again. So it's like starting the clock again for 90 seconds. So I know that in some of the articles that I've seen online, and that is, there's a lot written about it, but um, the, some of these articles talk about people being shamed for feeling bad because of this 90 second rule. And the idea behind it um, is, you know, oh, well, it, you know, the negative thought, negative feelings only last for 90 seconds. So it's your own fault if it's going on for longer than that. And the reason they say that is because they don't understand the biology behind it. They don't realize that that initial trigger of 90 seconds that triggers the, the, the start of those stress chemicals also triggers automatic thoughts that in turn trigger more stress chemicals. And so it goes on. So the solution that um, several people have, have shared in, in these articles and in, in YouTube videos and things is um, to just observe the feelings. So what we do with the allowing exercise, so just uh, without buying into the feelings, just observing the sensations like, OK, what does this feel like and allowing it to be there? That will that will stop the triggering. 
Um, and of course, what we do, which is a, which is a level up, um, and so even more effective is do whatever it takes to change your focus to something that that is positive, happy, that you're grateful for, something you love, if you can. And if all else fails, do some physical exercise if you can, because that will that will stop that recurring triggering as well. So I hope that clarifies. And of course, as always, let me know um, if you have any questions.